Chelsea Flower Show. Hello. This is the new flower show it has been on our list for two decades yeah, at 20, least. Yeah, so 20 years. Yes. And we finally made it. Um, you can probably tell it's very busy. There's so much to see. Beautiful yeah. things to see. Yeah, so, and we're very excited. Yeah. Now here's what happened. I just, I had to leave the Chelsea Flower Show. It is so packed you wouldn't believe it. We expected it to be busy but this was beyond my imagination and I just, I'm okay with people but not when it's really really packed. So we decided that I just go out and explore the Chelsea area and film a little bit for you and you Jörg stayed and he has a lot more patience and he said he tries to film the Chelsea Flower Show for you guys. So this is what we do and now back to Jörg and I show you what he filmed.
just stumbled upon venison and in case you don't know the brand they do amazing fabrics and wallpaper very traditional and I thought I need to share have a look here so stunning Well, what happened in the afternoon? I told you, Jörg stayed there and tried to film as much as possible. Yeah, which I did. Yeah, so my experience was that I, of course, expected a lot of people, but for my taste, because I just like to enjoy the beauty and look at the gardens, get some inspiration. For me, that wasn't possible. Even, I mean, even if I would be even if we wouldn't be filming, it was just too much for me. Yeah. My verdict is it was beautiful. And if you're not afraid of people, because there are a lot of people, <laughs> you will just enjoy it. I'm not afraid of people. It was just too yeah. much. There are crowds of people. It's sometimes you can't even move. And that's, I don't know, it's a little bit overwhelming. So I don't know. Tickets are quite expensive, but there is a great alternative. If you don't want to buy a ticket or are not able to get hold of a ticket, there's also Chelsea and Bloom. Yeah. And can you say more about it, Jörg? It's simply around, let's say, that. Yes. In Chelsea, all the road, all the shops and some houses are decorated and have uh, displays with flowers and everything, and it's just nice. So most of it is um, in uh, Kings Road. Yeah. What else? Sloan Street, Sloan Square, yeah. and it's absolutely stunning. I think the ideas they come up with are amazing. So it's also busy, but not as bad. Yeah. So and some of the displays, displays are really beautiful. And fun, and it's just absolutely lovely. So I prefer that, and yeah, just to give you an idea and how we feel about it. I think. So this is a map that you can find online and print and it gives you all the places that you can visit and I think yeah. the second page says the shops and we shouldn't forget to mention this year's topic is British icons so you can walk along the British icons trail yeah
Now, we're heading to a French restaurant. It's actually, two years ago, we went to the sister restaurant, which is called, I forgot the name. My goodness. Maggie uh, something. Maggie, Maggie Jones, which was absolutely amazing. And we thought we would try the sister restaurant. And because Jörg's French is extraordinaire. It's poulot pot. La, la, la poulot pot. La poulot pot. La poulot pot. So, yeah, we want to try that one and yeah. see how it tastes. And yeah. I think it looks quite stunning, yeah. the atmosphere. Yes, it sounds good. And the English translation is chicken in a pot. <laughs> yeah. And this is it. La poulot pot. I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say, guys. Say something, yeah. Dinner was just not what we expected it to be. The problem is, it it wasn't just dinner. The service, yeah, appalling. We had to wait, I think, forty five minutes until we can order something. Yes, and it's yeah. now almost nine thirty, and I only had a main. So we just want to warn you, maybe if you've been there before. Yeah, maybe I'll if you're a regular, it's fine. Yeah, but we just felt too completely ignored. Yeah, it was absolutely. Horrific, yeah. so we won't go there again ever. No, no, we wouldn't recommend the place, no. and that's the reason why we also didn't film the food because we just we wanted to leave. No. The problem is, I wanted to leave, and Yerk said because we hadn't had food all day, yeah. and when we wanted to leave, they just came. So, <laughs> yeah, we took a light. I tried to edit the video as best as I can, and well. This just again shows it's not always perfect. It's not always going to plan. No, absolutely not. That's I think life. This day was was terrible. No, it wasn't terrible. <laughs> not everything, but it was a day we will remember. Yes. So we still hope that you like the video, and thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Yes. Yeah. So take care. Take care. Bye. Bye bye.